you can also barter here. If you don't have money, you can use items that you have obtained and uh, <clears throat> attempt to to switch those or trade those out for other things you may right. need. So if you don't like enough. heavy maces and freaking whatever else we found. <laughs> hey, you guys don't know about that stuff. I'm pretty sure we but saw it right <laughs> when you're rummaging through it. Right there. <laughs> I mean, well, I'll, like, look what I found. I'm gonna put that back in the box. Oh. I mean, unless your diseased ass wanted to try to sneak something by us <laughs> <laughs> while you had minus decks. <laughs> so you gonna do any bartering, Marcus? No, no, I, I'm done. Awesome. Okay. And we go to a share. That's me. I don't have anything on hand to really barter with right now. Let's see that four. Hey, it's something All different. Right. <laughs> Today, we rolled a what? A two. Okay. Yep. I thought I saw, heard four again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I was waiting for the, the third four. Today, it's cooking day. What? I, you mean I actually get to cook? <laughs> yes. And lucky for you, fucking today, day five. Yep, day five. Fucking, he is not completely wasted. <laughs> that's, that's good. So, uh, yeah, lucky for you, he's not wasted, so you don't even have to actually do anything. <laughs> so you can make two ship actions. Oh, I see. This is what I had that first uh, that first day. <laughs> or second day, I guess it was called. Alright. Yep. Alright, so I got two actions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do um, in influence with um, since he's the only person in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and first start with an influence with, what's his name? just want to make sure I get the names right. Ambrose. So I'll go ahead and do an influence with Fish Guts. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask okay. him about the Quartermaster, um, just as part of the conversation. So ask about uh, Grok. And then um, I guess for my um, second action, I will go ahead and do an influence with uh, Cutthroat Grok. All right. See, I'm like chaining these together. <laughs> Somebody watching. <it. laughs> I mean, I'm assuming I'm pretty, I'm assuming that since where I'm at, it's actually close to where the Quartermaster is anyway. Nah, uh, Quartermaster is actually directly next to you. That's what I thought. I figured it was this room here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. All right. Well, I'll start with the influence with um, uh, fish guts. Continue that. Maybe talk a little bit about cooking, since you know I eventually might have to cook someday. So twenty-five on influence. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Alright, uh, well, shit. <laughs> You're not used to having people that actually are good at influencing. <laughs> yep, alright, so you uh, chat him up about Grok specifically. Right. And he says, you know, he's known Grok for years. She came aboard the ship when she was young. Uh, she was a fucking little thug in the streets when she was a kid, and Ended up on the wrong end of the knife, and she got helped out by one of the crew that was on board at the time. And they healed her up, took her under their wing, and over the years she's worked her way up to quartermaster. Uh, she's pretty well, pretty respected by everyone. Maybe not liked, but most people have learned to to respect her at least out of fear of the fact that she controls the shares of loot and how all the equipment is handled. Uh, She's no no fan of of plug or scourge or any of their toadies, but mm. she uh definitely likes serving on the ship, enjoys uh the rest of the crew. She may not always agree with the captain and his uh 
<clears throat> his seeming delight for terrifying people, but he, uh, she knows he's a good captain, and there's not many others that she'd rather sail with. All right, good to know. Uh, says so she, she likes her her drink. She's partial to exotic drinks that you can't get around. Though she'll she'll drink just you know more than half the crew share worth of the fucking rum ration <laughs> on a good night. She'd much rather have a, a better bottle. Mm. But uh, she says if there's a person you need to talk to about getting any sort of equipment, just let her know that you're his his mate and. She'll be more than willing to help you. All right. All right. All right. And you can roll your next one for Garak. Next round. <laughs> so, I'm not going to do the up arrow because I am I hate macros. All right. So influence. 22. So, I, Killing so it pretty up. much I'm, for one, introducing myself. So and kind of mentioning I've been working with uh, Fish Guts. Um, Beyond that, uh, I do kind of mention that I, I'm kind of in need of some sort of small item to defend myself with, <laughs> preferably not something like a giant heavy mace, if possible. If there's any laying around, she says, "Oh, your, you know, your, your, your Ambrose is is new mate. Well, that's good. Blah blah. blah. He's a good friend of mine. But yeah, if you uh, you need something, you're one of the the new." The new crew members, uh, she points you to one of the, the boxes. Okay. It's a large wooden crate, very sturdy. Hands you the key, says open that up, and you can get your, your gear out of there. Oh, wow, my actual gear. <laughs> All right. Um, I also, you know, returned the gesture, mentioning if she needs anything, just let me know. Um, I mentioned that I do know a little bit about alchemy. I don't know how useful that is to you, but... I... <laughs> Unless you can brew me some sort of fancy wine, I think I think we'll be all right. All right, I put that on my side quest. Brew wine. <laughs> but uh, as you, uh, when you open up that box to get all your stuff out, you notice there's a lot of other stuff in there all too. Right. Um, uh, mainly. Oh boy. <laughs> gears that I find a hat with a feather on it and I throw it away. <laughs> set it on fire. All right, let's see. Uh, it looks like mostly gear that could belong to other crew members. Uh, things that stand out, you know, right off the top of their head. Uh, there's an extremely well crafted fiddle, uh, a bunch of flasks of alchemist fire. Wow. <laughs> actually, several sets of thieves' tools, a uh, <clears throat> box full of candles. Right. And then yeah, a bunch of equipment. Okay. Um, so is she is my equipment in there? I guess is a question. Okay. Yes. Then yeah, the, all all the it's it's a rather large box. Right. I'm just gonna I'm gonna review what my original equipment was because I see if there's anything ridiculous I don't want to drag out. I don't exactly want to carry the entire arsenal. I definitely take my uh, spell component pouch so I can actually cast some of my spells I have memorized. Um. I'll go ahead and take uh, my dagger and my acid flask, and then um, I will go ahead and take the um, the thieves' tools. All right, there's six sets. You're just gonna grab yeah, one. Yeah, I'll just randomly. grab one. Do I see any markings on them or anything that may signi uh Actually, I can do a praise, I guess. Uh, let me pull up a praise. Twenty on a praise. One set is definitely masterwork. Right. Any identif identifiable markings on it or anything? Just say that this might belong to somebody. <laughs> uh, no, nothing okay. really. Just the the tools are definitely of a much better quality than the other okay. sets. I will go ahead and grab the masterwork these tools. And I definitely thank. Um, right. I go ahead and thank Rock for uh, for her assistance. Alrighty. Sweet. I could actually cast, you know, the other two spells I have in front <laughs> Making progress. Yay, progress. But yeah, I don't take everything, because obviously I don't want to lug around a spear and a crossbow and a cannonball. 
Yeah. So yeah, I'll just take the dagger. All right. So that uh, that sums up your stuff. All right, and uh, that's the end of today's festivities. Right. Night sets in, and uh, the crew gathers on the deck as the rum rations pass around. All right. I'll go ahead and do my usual sip, I guess. Right. Or is there something happening? <laughs> Well, everybody's up on deck, and as they're passing out the the rum ration, okay. uh, Plug walks up, leading uh, Albert to the center of the the main deck up there. Oh shit! And uh, he says tonight, because things have gone so well, so smoothly into the into the uh, the voyage so far. He's like, why don't we have a little bit of sport? To, to raise morale in the everybody's cheers. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. So <clears throat> plug motions to, to Albert and says, let's have one of the new recruits square off against our favorite friend here. He points to all the new recruits says, are there any volunteers from you? I am terrified. <laughs> Does anyone, if you wish to enter into a round of fisticuffs with Owlbear? I'll go. All right. I will if it's a dance. <laughs> you sit your fairy ass down. Hold on, dance hold on. Go. Hold on. Nobody even knows what I'm talking about, but it's totally okay. <laughs> I thought you were about to put the music on, so I was preparing myself. No, no, no. Oh, it's not, that time yet. <laughs> not that time yet. So pretty much the rest of the crew is kind of ringed around. There's not much room to maneuver. Even Croup comes up to see what's going on. Now we're using weapons or just bare fists? Just bare fists. Okay. Good natured fist and cuffs, <laughs> not murder. So cannons, <laughs> those are those are legit, right? <laughs> <laughs> Totes legit dog. Alright, what do I have to roll to turn a cannon <laughs> and fire? <laughs> and aim. Does this qualify as a great club? Because I'm going to pick it up and hit him with it. Dude, just do the stuff that's in, a, what was it, Injustice or whatever it was, you know, pig advantage. So you just swing the pig at him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everybody gets around. They uh, they're drinking their rum, getting all rowdy. Initiative. Good luck. A uh, quick question, Wes: Is there any possible way for me to sneak a ward? X on um, on Cahoon. I'll let you uh, roll a stealth check for it. you're not worth it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so I won't roll for initiative. <laughs> what were you going uh, to I can... put on? I can say you can sneak it in before the initiative's rolled, but it's still going to require a check. Uh, um... uh, does, uh, well, does the uh, uh, hex require somatic or verbal components? Yeah, let's see. Powers grants hex. Otherwise noted, standard action can produce. That's the thing about hexes that are not very clear, as far as like a lot of some of the specifics. Um, I know we agreed that was thirty uh, thirty right. foot range, so I can do it from a distance. But that's about it. It's a all supernatural right, well, we'll ability. A, at least has a. All right, we'll say at least has a okay. verbal, and then. So, you know, most hexes are a witch curse right. somebody of some sort. So, yeah. 
So we can uh, <clears throat> do uh, what you might call it. Dwayne, why are you rolling an issue? Stop that madness. So yeah, okay. still check. I will go ahead and attempt it. it. If I mean, worst comes to worst, I can spend a reroll. Um, stealth is not where I'm a Viking, though. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I'm definitely going to reroll. I might have to burn it. Yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and burn ah. it because I don't want to get caught. So I'll be down to one hero point and spot okay. succeed. The last thing I need All right. to be dealt with is a. Uh... So what is you have plus two AC do? until you get hit. Plus two AC until I get hit. Okay. Which is going to so probably be the first attack roll, a... but you never know. So I'm the first person to burn a hero point on a skill check. So congrats to me. But <laughs> I'd rather not get caught with witchcraft. <laughs> All right, and uh, Cahoon, you're up first. All right, I'm just gonna here we go. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. There you go. <laughs> there we go. And then it's one d three plus, plus um, strength. strength. No, yeah, one d three. There you go. S uh, six damage. Alright, you go in, fucking throw a quick punch in. He somehow seems to step into it. Oh god. <laughs> I say boo, go He's strong against there. fist, it makes him stronger. Alright, he takes a swing. It's a 23, there you go. Well, there goes your ward. <laughs> Little weak on the damage, though. You severely underestimate the length of his gigantic arms as he punches you right in the fucking solar plexus. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. You again? Yeah. You return the blow furiously. Furiously! Well, we'll see how much damage you do, then we'll decide how furious it really was. Yeah. Spend an action point for damage. Seven damage. Ah, damn. But jo Brutally murdered. Joke's on you, though. This is not. This is Alabar's only, you know, first form. <laughs> right? <laughs> He's about to go Super Saiyan. Whatever you do, don't let him just sit there and charge up. That's okay. We have Fucking like what? <laughs> you a land week a, for that to happen. So you land a solid blow into his fucking jaw, and he staggers, fucking squares up from the the after the forecastle behind the fight. You hear a plug. Damn it, Albert! You piece of shit! And then he throws a club, which Albert catches and then attempts That's to use hurt. on you. <laughs> That's <so laughs> luckily, it missed. Holy nope. shit! So, luckily for you, he <laughs> telegraphed the shit out of that. <laughs> and you nine damage. You would have like of blown off the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it would have killed me. Um, am I able to pull out my weapon and since he's got a weapon on me? Um, I mean, do you want to kill pl really uh, Plug's pet? <laughs> <laughs> no, I really don't. So I'm not Good going luck. to. So, I mean, there, there are other ways for you to go, like continue punching furiously. <laughs> <laughs> While right. not getting hit by a fucking club. If you hit, you could burn a hero point to auto grit. <laughs> 
<laughs> two times damage. It'll be a minimum ten damage. But I mean, I, you might as well do your attack roll first <laughs> if you're if you're gonna keep attacking. I mean, that's gonna hit. So if you want to, now the, the catch, of course, is if you burn <laughs> a hero point, that means you're gonna have less re rolls overall. But do you want to be a man? <laughs> You can just roll damage negative. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna burn okay. a hero point for the ten, and then yeah, I what, can roll well, also. Uh, correct. It's what you're doing is you're auto critting, so instead you'll be rolling two d three plus eight because it's double damage. There you go, 11 damage. <laughs> Jesus Crystal. So you punch him square in the fucking face. Breaks his nose, blood gush everywhere. He drops the fucking club, starts crying. <clears throat> starts, like, attempting to scrabble and back away. But the rest of the crew grabs him and throws him back into the ring. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Would that be an attack of opportunity? I swear, he, uh, uh, don't lie, I was getting ready to ask that. He lands uh, prone at your feet, but uh, appears ready to, to cower away. And well, now it's your turn again. I'm going to keep hitting him until they tell me to stop. <laughs> right. So he's sitting there prone on his hands and knees, staring at you in terror, and you pretty much kick him right in the face. <laughs> and he's down. I step in over Albert's body. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Get out of here. <laughs> you want to be next? Because that's how you end up being next. <laughs> All right, Albert is beaten unconscious, and Plug and Scourge and some of the rest of the crew do not look very pleased. The rest of them are like, "Yeah, woo, high fiving you and everything." I can't believe you. Beat I would say that's probably ass. well worth the hero point. Date my spreadsheet. All right. All the uh, all the influences is switched to hatred. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Shit. Um. So what is happening with uh Al Bear? I guess is my question. He's unconscious, and uh, so Plug has scourged around a couple of guys up to drag Al Bear up into the. Officer's quarters, and then him and right. Scourge disappear after him. So now, you can deal with your <laughs> nightly rum rations. Alright. So he went into the rooms. Uh, he's not guarding outside it or anything. Well, I mean, he's unconscious, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, well. Can't do much about that. Uh, I'll go ahead and just do the standard uh, sip, so I'll do a fort check. Same here. Yep. So I didn't use it to climb a rope, but I, it was pretty close. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, Cahoon, you're not worth it. Next time here, I'm not going to waste it. <laughs> I mean, eventually I was going to have to use it anyway, so might as well. Alright, uh, fort check. Seven. I'll use my last reroll and hope I do better. That's much better. 
All right. Uh, waiting on El Ragnera. I'm going to do a stealth check to dump it overboard. All right. Completed. All right, so Did what's everybody doing for the night? Well, he, 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 he tried stealth, to sneak it off. Way. He didn't drink it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, I'm going to sit there and sleep for the night, recovering my HP and health and wounds. All right, you'll rest. Okay. All right. And it, it's what is it? It's now for for recovering uh, health. It's just um your level plus your modifier. And if it, and since that what you took was non-lethal, it's going to be double that. So you'll probably recover most of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, four HP. All right. All right. Can can I just notice that Ashera is carrying? Stuff that she wasn't carrying before, or do I have to roll like a perception check or something? I mean, you can roll perception because she didn't put on like any right. armor or anything blatantly obvious. <laughs> Metagaming ass <laughs> bastard. You notice a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he, he takes a closer look and then a swarm of rats <laughs> attack him. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. All right. Well, did I see you talking to the uh, quartermaster earlier? No, you did not. Um, so uh, for my action, I'm actually going to go ahead and do um, influence this time because I don't feel like singing again. And I'm going to go influence with uh, Sundara, even though she's already help uh, helpful. All right, so um, as far as talking to uh, Sundara, um, kind of just want to, you know, talk to her and you know offer any assistance if she needs any. And I actually kind of asked some questions if there's any way I can possibly reach um, Albear to help tend to his wounds. And I'll go ahead and roll influence. Twenty six. Okay. She says not likely. Uh, <clears throat> plug pretty much keeps the pet, you know, keeps Albert to himself. The only real during chance day. people have to interact with him okay. is, you know, during the days at night. Yeah, at so night during he's, the he's locked away. But she suspects uh, that the officers have their own way of, okay. you know. And as far as daytime, he's just usually down by that pillar that's practically outside the quartermaster's office. Okay. All right, yep. then. Uh, that's it for me. Besides that, I just, you know, you know, talk about healing stuff and alchemy, I Alrighty. guess. <laughs> We're talking about boys. <laughs> we have things in common. <laughs> Ow! So what All exactly right. is it? What's the There's sleep, action? There's just uh, sleep gamble, the, entertain, you know, influence, sneak, it. and steal. Yeah, I, I know all that. The the midnight. All right. So essentially, what you're doing with the the nighttime thing is you can take an additional action at night, right? Yeah. But you're automatically fatigued the next day. Yep. Yep. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I I had the note about it being a min some yeah. stuff being midnight actions. I just couldn't remember what those were, or what yeah, the. the the well, all right. The bonus there is that certain checks, like if you're trying to sneak around to do stuff on the boat, are much easier during that that late night period than they yeah. are during any other time. That's what I was figuring. I was just making sure. Oh, I think I'm going to try to sneak down to the bilge and I mean, poke around down there and see if we there. missed anything. Alrighty. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, the quartermaster barters. I may mean, come back with time as any. some stuff. I'll trade you this heavy base for that cannon. Alright, so you roll a stealth check to slip down there unnoticed. You can do it. Okay. 
Gotta find it first. <laughs> I think and we have like one person. I'm trained in it, so. <laughs> well, you can use. Yeah. You can use it untrained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I was just, I was just double checking, making sure I wasn't yeah. trained in it since we regrouped the skills and stuff. I got fourteen. All right, you managed to slip down there without too much notice. And I want to snag that buckler that I found in uh, one of the. Hit All right. No, I mean you can you can look around down there. Yeah, I I do want to look around and see what else down there still, but just in case there's something potentially more valuable. So in that taking twenty down there, do I find anything else? Taking twenty is gonna take a while. Well, stuff we told us we can take twenty on perception checks, but we have to make checks against discovery. Yeah, I mean, but twenty taking ten, taking twenty increases the amount of time it takes to do something. Multiplies it, in fact. I can just roll straight perception checks too, if you'd prefer. I, it really depends on how much time you want to spend down in the villages. Not like all night, that's for damn sure. Take 20 would probably not be the best uh, best of ideas then. No, Alright, fair enough. Uh, take 10 wouldn't hurt though. Do that fairly decent. Alright, yeah, I thought take 10 was something like half an hour or something like that. Alright, yeah, uh, there's actually a take 10 option under your character sheet now. If you go to the skill section, yep. Up type up top it has uh, enable oh, take yeah, ten I see or take it. twenty. Yep. That it's not the click box; it's the actual drop down. Yeah, I see that. You have to click the box to get the drop down. No, you don't have to. The uh... no, no, never mind. Yeah, I see that. Because that's how <laughs> fucking Wilson ended up fucking up his shit. Yeah. Now, once you enable that drop down, is yes, you can. When you roll a skill, it'll ask you if you just roll normally or take ten or take twenty. Gotcha. So click the roll and. It's not giving me any options. Uh, it may not work with the what you call it skills. If it no, doesn't work, just roll um one d ten add your yeah. bonus plus ten. There's a little um box like a pop up box that says input value roll or take ten or twenty, and you have to select one d twenty and then there hit you submit before you. Oh, there it is. It was hiding behind my character sheet. No, it's just uh, that was a regular roll. That's not an actual take twenty there, Ragnar, or take ten. Yeah, I was I was just messing with the thing, trying to see what it would do. Sorry. And that there was we go. yeah. That was a regular take ten. All right. Well, you spend a considerable amount of time down there. Wait, is that right? I don't think it actually rolled. I think it just said 10 plus your modifier. <laughs> yeah, okay. well, that's what, uh, that's what the take 10 is. It, it just spits All out right. so I can see it and I don't have to think about math in my brain. All right, let's see here. You spend a bit of time squicking around down there. You find uh, 21 gold pieces just scattered around and a uh, a vial of pristine water looking fluid alrighty alright and I'm gonna go to bed Alrighty, so now we go to... You sound so sad. Dwayne. 
<laughs> he had a rough day. I just feel bad. <laughs> a rough for few him. days. But you know what? He has three hero points. <laughs> Um, All right, so what you doing? I'm contemplating whether I want to try to sneak into the officers' quarters while they're sleeping, but I think our I don't entire group still, has zero so stuff. I don't think I'm going to try to do that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to make friends with Kalki Tar. That's a cabin girl. If she is. Not a villain. Nope. <laughs> captain's oh, cabin she's... girl. Where do you think she is? Uh, in the captain's cabin, probably doing things. Hey, Bill, Bill, piece of advice. Go with everybody under the crew. Go section. for Jake's MacFi. He won't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. You might have to go under <laughs> the, the ship to find him now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try to uh, make friends with. Jack Scrimshaw showing my wound from the yeah. rats. You got severely wounded by rats? I got severely wounded by rats. I got bit by a rat. <laughs> you show me totally yours, I'll show you mine. Alright, but... Try to get as many people on our side as possible. For right. the coming mutiny. I, an insulin. I mean, technically there's probably no talk of mutiny yet, because we haven't really seen how, the, how this captain works, besides the fact that his officers are usually dicks. <laughs> When we fight the Kraken, that's when he starts complaining. <laughs> influence, influence, there it is. I was going to ask yeah, me just, every time. I would, I I would just uncheck it. 20. They only use that whenever you're attempting to take 20. There you go. All right. Yeah, he uh, actually is pretty impressed that you find common <laughs> ground with the rats. He said it's a good thing you dealt with them, because he ends up in the buildings a lot doing work, so you're definitely saving him more friend. trouble in the future. And by a friend, I mean you got one quarter of a heart. Get three, and you can go on a date with him. <laughs> you got a friend in me. I think that's everyone. Did everyone? Wait, did uh, Cahoon do something? Oh, yeah, that's right. Nope, he went to bed because he's all beat the fuck up. And we're on to day six. Yep. That was... Yeah, nope, we're going into day six. Yep, totally. It's actually really easy to organize what I've done by day. <laughs> Alright, what's going on now? Dwayne made a friend. Yeah, I saw that. I think Wes is looking at the next day and realize it's cracking day. Shit. No, I've heard all the, the day's progress up under the wrong day on the spreadsheet. Ah, uh, gotcha. Alrighty. Alright. You awake on day six and you hear high winds and the drum of rain against the hole. Oh no. Did you uh, report to the deck for your duties? You can definitely see that uh, while the sky is darkening now and uh, the rain is just starting to pick up in the distance, in the direction you're sailing, the sky gets much, much darker. All right, I'm going to spend a hero point to automatically succeed at my disease <laughs> fend-off check. Oh, I was gonna say, fuck it. What's your, uh, what's your call? Sandara. Uh, what's her face? I'll give you a uh, another heal check to help. I mean, you can do the roll and then decide the burn. 
You yeah, get plus gonna, four. Yeah, just go ahead and get your plus four to your fort check first. If you fail it, I mean, if you still want to burn it, go for it. Or you could re-roll. Right. Yeah, do that first. Go for gold. Oh, you're good. Yep. You're cured. You can get rid of your green dot. Yay! All you have to do is click on yourself and click the same symbol. There you go. All right. I'm an alien. Uh, can I roll anything to see if if this storm's gonna get worse before it gets better? <laughs> you sure can. Uh, would it be nature? Uh, you could do. Uh, you could do nature. You could do survival. You could even do pro profession sailor to a degree would would also work. All right, nature's my highest. So I'll go with that. I know stuff about nature. Yep, it definitely from the uh, the feel of the air and the the darkness of the clouds, and definitely looks like this is just the the beginning of the storm. Oh joy! Well, I would let the captain know, but he'll murder me. So, <laughs> on to duties. Yep, what was the captain's no only rule? Yeah, don't talk to him. Maybe if I, like, hand-signed it. <laughs> Walk in there topless and then tell them. It'd be good. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, uh, everybody except for the, well, depending on what you get, Wilson, you're going to suffer minus two to all of your, uh, your work things today. Uh, the swabs probably will as well. I'm not uh, sure you may or may not, depending on what you're I using. swear, if I have to capture turtles in a storm. <laughs> hey, man, let's see all the dice throw. All right, Wilson, you're up first. Is that general repairs? Ooh nah. Yeah, rigging repair. Yeah. All right, you're going to need uh, three climb checks and three profession sailor checks. Oh, God, while freaking in a storm. <laughs> Well, even with a minus two, that really doesn't do that much for you. He climbed <laughs> above the clouds. <laughs> he climbed in. He was. I'm tired of the storm shit. And just climbed up above it. And just, mm. Mm. Right, Fuck your clouds. Your, uh, <laughs> your profession, sailor. <laughs> well, you can reroll. First two ain't looking too hot, baby. You have one reroll. You could. Yeah, yep. reroll the eight. All right. And what's so, your, uh, what's your action? Yeah, your daily action. Um, I'm just gonna work right now since the storm's coming. I don't want to take All any right. type of hit. Yeah, that'll bring the nine up to a thirteen. Yep. All right, you're good on that then. Do I need to do a All con right. check? No, not for this. Uh, nope, not for this okay. one. All right. Uh, we'll move on to Marcus. I'm gonna grab a drink, but I can hear. All right. All right. All right, Marcus, today you're catching rats below deck, so you will not suffer the minus two. But you get to fight 17 dire rats. <laughs> they had childrens, <laughs> and they want revenge. <laughs> All right, uh, let me get a three stealth or survival ch or dexterity checks. Is it stealth or dex? Or survival. Stealth, survival, or dex. Your choice. All right, you catch a pretty good fistful of rats, and uh, what's your uh, thingamajigger for the day? Uh, I was going to try to influence the um, um, quartermaster, just talk to her. All right, uh, you can influence that indeed. You know, try to try to up my uh, my standing with her and see if she knows anything about our gear and that kind of stuff. Uh, not 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 overtly. Now, like, bitch, where's where's our stuff? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you can make your Alrighty. make the influence. Yep, I'm pulling it up. Yep. yep. Just trying to be generally friendly and you know not not seem like a complete fucked hard like the gnome. says <clears throat> crew members 
equipment generally <clears throat> is uh, secured by me until such time as either the captain or the first mate says that they are, you're allowed to take it back. Right, fair enough, and I'll call it good there. Okay. Alrighty. To the uh, rag Dwizzle. To uh, Ragnar the Heroic. Yeah, that's a good name. I like the ring of that. <laughs> well, you'll only remain the Heroic as long as you have the most hero points. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. So, uh, with the storm building, the village is going to be pretty nasty. <laughs> So, uh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Ragnar, get your ass in the bilges. Great. Require, uh, three strength checks. Seriously, say, it, check. say, it, say hi to the rat queen. Strength, really? I don't have a choice. <laughs> you got hero points. Yep, no choices. <laughs> Well, you can re-roll some. <laughs> you can spend two to re-roll. <laughs> well, you can you, you can know. burn a hero point. <laughs> and he didn't give you his con check yet either. Well, the good news is you're in the bilges, so you can totally. Uh, you re-roll. Which one of those did you re-roll? Probably the five. <laughs> the five, yeah. All right. So the good news is you can work diligently and no, you still come up short even with the plus four on the seven. Yep. I mean, well, I mean, you can re-roll the seven and hope you don't roll another two <laughs> or you can burn a hero point just to ensure that you don't fail it. I mean, this is true. Yeah, you could reroll that seven, indeed. I mean, I don't know how close we are to leveling at this point, but yeah, I'll just burn my extra hero point and go back down to two with everybody else. Well, you're you're with one other person. <laughs> Half the party's at one. All right. So you're uh, uh, fourteen to succeed and a seven. Yep. So I gotta reroll. Use my last hero point to reroll that seven. Um, if you work diligently, you, you, can, to. you can make it eleven. Okay, yeah, yeah I'll work. The, I'll work diligently. The DC is twelve. Oh. <laughs> Everything else is a ten, but this is a twelve. Damn. Well, it's your call. So I have I'd to probably. Well, yeah, you know. You can reroll one more time. There you, <laughs> there, right, there you go. All right. Now, uh, Constitution. <laughs> good luck. And no. there you go. Okay, you're good. So, and no more hero points. Yeah. He's got two regular, but all of his re rolls are spent. All right. And now we go to uh, Ashira. Oh, great. Go hunt a Kraken. This is a new Just one. Just curiosity, what would have happened if I'd failed those? Lashings, maybe. Lashings! Yeah, I don't want those. <laughs> no one likes lashing except for Marcus. Sweet! You're gonna love me. Oh, no. Ambrose comes to you with a, a pole with some string and a hook. And he goes, well, we better get some fish <laughs> before the storm rolls in. So everybody has something to eat. You are absolutely nuts. <laughs> And I love you for it. <laughs> How drunk are you? All right. I mean, it's not uh, hunting turtles, so I guess. <laughs> this is actually probably... Give me uh, one one profession fisherman or one survival check. One survival. It'll be uh, minus two for minus the two. Uh, swarm shit. All right. I, I'll go with survival. And uh, here it goes. 24. So 22. All right. You are successful. I got the Kraken. Even though it is... <laughs> Fucking miserable. I know. <laughs> it's storming. Of course, we're not All gonna right. hunt turtles, but you're gonna go fishing. <laughs> oh, and for my action, um, uh, just from like walking up to the deck, how was um, Owl Bear looking? 
extremely angry and still beat okay. up. Okay. Um. So for my influence action, I'll actually try to approach him and um offer my hand. And if he takes it, I will attempt to heal him, assuming there's no one else around. So I guess I'll start with influence. Twenty-five. Yeah. At first, he just like growls and fucking looks at you menacingly, but you're awfully charismatic, damn you. <laughs> I do. I take it slow, and, and you know, if he doesn't want me near him, I'll try to, you know, keep it slow. <laughs> After some coaxing, you, uh, you eventually get him to, to calm down. Okay. Alright, and I, I mean, assuming there's no crew running around me, um, I will attempt to uh, do a healing hex on him. Yeah, there's uh, there's nobody right. running around. It'll recover four. After the pummeling he took. Alright. And then I'll just slowly back away and <laughs> leave him to his peace. <laughs> Or a person that only knows about three words, I doubt conversation will be much benefit. <laughs> Alright, and I think that's it for me. Alright, that's everyone. Sweet! Alright, that night at dinner... You get your rum rations. Right. The storm continues to pick up. Scourge, scourge, little scourge, scourge informs you that you should probably uh, get a good night's rest tonight because tomorrow the storm keeps up. Looks like things are going to be much, much worse. Yay. All right. I'll do my set. That's a pretty good roll there, Cahoon. You gonna keep that one? I'm good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Just can't hold the liquor. Everybody's using their rerolls. I'm still. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to bed, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> All right, let's go Ragnar. He who does not have a reroll. <laughs> so, um, rolling a um, thing that's untrained, like a skill that's untrained, do you not get your dexterity? No, you'll, you'll still get that? your dexterity. It's just a base roll. Yeah. You, all right. If you have a class skill and you have a point in that class skill, you gain a plus three bonus right. to it. If it's a non-class skill. And you put ranks it's into just by it. Itself. Then, as long as it's, you know, you get the ranks. Uh, the only difference is if it's a skill that can be used or a skill that's uh, not you can't use untrained, say like uh, finesse. Then you can't use it unless you have one rank right. in it. So, if, so if you have to, yeah, if you have, if right. it's something that can be used untrained, it's just going to be a raw stat check based off whatever the skill is. Okay, so I'd roll dexterity for a uh, stealth check to throw my liquor over right. the side. And if you fail it, you're going to get some lashings. I mean, if you do a sip, you can just do a fort check against a DC 10, and as long as you pass it, you'll be fine. If you fail it, you just rest for the night. Well, my dexterity is higher than my um, fort, fort save. So, and they're both DC 10. Well, failing the fort save just means you're probably going to rest for the night for your action. Failing the other save means you're going to get lashings. True. Yeah, that's right. true. All right. I mean, unless you, you know, you like being lashed and you want to, you know, get more influence with a uh, <laughs> scourge there. Woo! Yeah. So, so you'll be fatigued. So, uh... You'll probably rest this round. You can uh, go to sleep, or you can take an action and spend tomorrow fatigued. I'll just go to sleep. Tomorrow's definitely not a day All you right. want to be fatigued. 
No sir. All right. Who's next? And at the end of this night, I think I'm gonna have to call it a night myself. I'm fucking exhausted. All right. All right. What do you wish to use your action on? <laughs> no, I'm I I'm not gonna try to do anything to stay up for the night or anything like that because of the storm rolling in tomorrow. All right. see whoop whoop uh i'll go ahead and entertain for this night since obviously next night next day is gonna suck for everybody <laughs> so i'll make my check okay and probably fail it because this is a performance check all right so performance 20. Woo! you sing a rousing Yet depressing shanty about how a storm sank a ship <laughs> and everybody drowned. I'm, I'll happily do that as long as at least half my you know audience commits suicide at the end. 